Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video. Uh, as you can see from the title, this is another new purchase video. So I've got uh, several new knives here. Uh, like I mentioned in some past videos, I got the opportunity to pick up some knives that I've been wanting to try for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and jump at the opportunity and get these while the, the getting's good, I guess you could say, while I have the chance. So uh, I'll go ahead and jump right into them. Now the, the box on the left here, and I'll put this one off to the side. But this box here houses two of the same knife. And that is because I was planning on purchasing this knife for myself. And I mentioned it to my coworker. And I also showed him a picture of it. And he was really excited by the design. And this is one that this knife has been recommended to me many, many times over the past year. And pretty much every time I have a video showing the Spyderco Tenacious or the Kershaw Cryo, this knife comes up. Somebody leaves a comment saying, when are you gonna try this? Or what do you think of this knife? And I've never uh, held or used one before, so this is kind of exciting. And I bet some of you can probably guess what it is. One of my uh, friends here on YouTube goes by the name Pat You Know. Uh, you probably can guess what this knife is, or at least I, I imagine you're gonna like this right away. Let's see. You can see right there, OntarioRat.com, and all kinds of packing peanuts. We'll put that little shipping label off to the side, or little packing slip. As you can see, that is the Randall's Rat Adventure Training Ontario Knife Company Knives. And of course, this is the Ontario Rat 1 Folder. And we can decipher that model number there so you can tell what this is going to be before I open it. By the way, these two boxes are pretty much identical. This one's a little bit more squished, and I want my coworker to have the nicer one. So I'm going to open the one that's a little bit smushed because I don't mind. And trying to open it from behind the thing, like always. And there we have it the Ontario. Rat One folder. This is in neon green. Uh, Ontario refers to this as venom green. A lot of times I'll also see neon green referred to as toxic green or zombie green. I don't go in for all that. It's neon green. I don't need all the silly little merchandising names. So uh, my my initial reaction just to the heft of it and the uh, the look of it, the color is wonderful. It is a really bright, beautiful neon green, which is one of my favorite colors of all time. Let's see, that looks really well centered to my eyes. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Really beautiful satin finish, full flat ground blade. Grinds look pretty good from one side to the other. Nice tip. Now one thing, yeah, one thing that I was wondering about with this knife is it's kind of got that offset design where you've got the handle and then the blade kind of leaps up at an angle and then goes over and then it's got that really chunky weird jimping at the back of the spine I didn't think I was gonna like that and it does feel interesting I'll say at this point I won't pass judgment yet um, but it, I mean it, it sure you know it sure gives you a really positive grip and let's see what the lockup feels really good no side to side play no up and down for those of you who are curious, that's the lock up there. I don't know what you'd say, maybe that's about halfway. I'm not really concerned about it at all. And this is a liner lock as you can see. Let's try and give it a flick. Oh, almost got it all the way out. Let's try it one more time. Now I'm having trouble in front of the tripod. There we go, there's a nice flick. Uh, good heft to it, I don't have the specs right in front of me, but uh, this is a really popular knife and most of you probably already know the the specs on this. Now I am going to review this knife. I'm going to carry and use this knife and I've been meaning to buy one of these for a long time and as soon as I saw that it had that bright green I said that's for me I gotta get that and then before I move on to the other package here real quick I just wanted to show you for those of you who might be curious this is the uh, K-Bar ZK also known as the Zombie Killer Caron Tanto and that'll kind of give you a size comparison between those two. Let me move in a little bit so you can see that. Those two side by side. The Rat 1 is definitely longer in the blade and in the handle. And it's definitely chunkier. It's a lot thicker. I really like it though. This is definitely a work knife. 
And uh, just my initial reaction, what a what a great price for such a large knife. And uh, you know the materials are pretty good. AUS8 steel on the blade. The material, not 100% sure of what the material is. Uh, the handle, excuse me, I'm not sure of what the material is. I believe it's FRN or something, you know, similar, something of that nature. But it, it's not. The texture is actually pretty light. You can get a good grip on it, but it's not really aggressive. Even it's not even as aggressive as that bubbly texture that's on the K bar. But uh, I think it'll be fine. I've got some stainless steel you know frame lock knives and those are a little bit smooth and I can live with that so that's okay so let's put him up actually you know what while we have it out let's just use him to open this box now this is from cutlery shop oh I should say these uh, Ontario knives were an exclusive from knifeworks.com and they'll run you about 30 bucks plus shipping so if you're interested in that go ahead and check them out